Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I am here today with my In Love Arts Design Team Package Projects and whew, I picked a lot of dies. Oh my gosh, you guys. <clears throat> so normally um, they never tell me what dies to use, but they did um, this time around ask me to uh, select um, some from their um, Halloween dies that they came out with this year. So you'll see um, all the projects that I did um, are Halloween. Um, so it was super fun. I'm done with Halloween. <laughs> um, I did more than I normally do. So it was fun. Um, and they didn't, uh, tell me the dies to pick, but they just did ask me if I could, uh, select from some of their new Halloween dice. So let's just get started and I'll show you the dies that I used and how I used it. So the first one is this super cute, like, um, truck, um, which is very cute. Now I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it's not hard to use, but to change the colors of certain things, unless you want it all one color, you do have to die cut it in the color that you want the truck to be. If you want this piece down here to be different or the witch's hat, or if you wanna make some tires or even change the color of the, um, like the rails on the back of the truck bed, you do have to dye it in different uh, colors and cut it apart and paper piece it. I don't typically use dies like this, but this one was really cute, and I love these old school looking trucks. So that's the first die that I played around with. So I decided to make a mini slim line. I love how it came out. So super cute. Um, now, what I did was, and I used a variety of all the Halloween paper that I use. This is an older um I think it's a Simple Stories collection, but it's from a few years back. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, this slimline card is it's about the size of my hand. Um, it's like a six, um, it's a six by six. And then I just scored it um, at three inches and folded it, of course. So super love this. Um, I thought it would be fun to make the truck this color, but like, as you can see, like I, I wanted to change the color of this. So I, I die cut it out in this color as well as black. I put black down there. I put black there. I changed the witch's hat to um, a black color. And then I just uh, cut a piece of this paper to um, make it look like there's like a, a band around it. But love how this came out, super cute. Um, it also came with some pumpkins and some little tiny bats came with it. Um, it also had this little cute ghost uh, that came along with it as well. But so super fun. I did put the whole truck up on some foam tape uh, to give it a little bit of dimension. And as you see, I have like little um, pumpkins on either side of the truck. And then I put a ghost here. This is the same ghost. Um, but I kind of cut it in half so it would fit in the window. And then I put an extra one up here and then I just put a couple of bats. Um, I think I bought this paper from Nurse Tara years ago um, and she had sent some cute little die cuts as well as some um, some rosettes, which uh, she always sends like little extra gifts. So this little boo was one of her gifts. So I used that because it coordinates with the paper that I used. And then here's what I did on the inside. I just did a little mat so that I can uh, write a note in the card, but super cute. And I absolutely love making little mini slim line, card, slim, slim line cards. So I love how that came out, super fun. Now, if you, like I said, if you wanna get like super detailed, you could, you know, do the wheels, but I think it's fine like this. And I love how it came out. That's a That was a super fun die to play around with. So that's the first project that I did. And then let me show you the next one. The next one is this super cute die that comes with a spider web, like corner piece almost. And then it also comes with this that says trick or treat. So you get both of these with this particular die. Um, so let me show you what I did with that. Um, so I decided to make this super cute, like um, decorated envelope. And um, of course I could 
put some treats in here if I'm sending it to someone um, as a little part of a swap or as some happy mail. So there's a lot going on here. So <clears throat> I use that spider web die here and then I turned it at an angle and I put it at the top. Here's where you see where it says trick or treat. Um, this is a um, like a circle shape, but it has like um, almost like a torn look around it, which is really cute. I also added a rosette and then I used my Cricut to create this cute little ghost. And then I used one of the bow dies that I have in my stash, but I absolutely love how that came out. Um, I did put a couple of like mini blings on it in various places on the card and then I put one in the center of the bow but I think that turned out so cute and it was it's great for happy mail or if I were ever doing a swap so that's the second one that I did and then here's the next one <laughs> this one was also very involved <laughs> so this one's like a spooky house and then it comes with like, here, let me open it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. It comes with a lot of little pieces. I didn't take it all the way apart, no way, because there's a lot of little, oops, there's a lot of little pieces that come with it. So there's a spooky house and then you get this like spooky tree that has some wording in it. I think it might say trick or treat or something. Um, there's like little um, headstones, there's a witch, a moon and a couple of different kinds of bats. So I kept it all together because I don't want to lose any of the pieces because there's quite a few pieces that come with this die. So what I decided to make um, is I went ahead and did a cute little um, Brolidex card and I love how it came out so super cute. Um, and I did a lot of layering with, um, this is one of the rosettes that Nurse Tara gave me. And then I used some of the chipboard from this collection. This is that witch that I showed you. And I put her up on some, uh, some foam as well as the spooky house. I put some, um, two, I think it's two or three, it, excuse me, two or three millimeter thick foam. I can't remember. Um, and then I did one of the little gravestones. I just took my white um, jelly pen and did it like there's some writing on it. I did a little bat, which is also up on some uh, foam. And then this is a bat that came with the collection where I got all these chipboard pieces. Um, this is a chipboard, the 31's a separate one and the, the spider is a separate one. Um, and then I just put the little witch on top. And the spooky house I did on black glitter cardstock. And then I used this really fun paper um, that comes with the same collection as that one. I don't, I hardly have any of that paper. So I just used all scrap pieces. Um, and then this also, this little flower comes with this collection as well as this bat. But I love the look of it. And it's very, very dimensional. So super cute. And that's what I made with that fun die. And then moving on, I picked this one. It's not Halloween. I didn't pick all Halloween, but I did pick several. But I made it into Halloween. <clears throat> I got these cute little heart-shaped um, little circles. And it actually just, it doesn't, it cuts out a centerpiece, but you take that out. So it's like heart borders. And then I die cut them so you, I die cut them so you can see what they look like. So that's the largest one. And then here's the, this is the smallest one, obviously. And then you have this size. Now you do have to put it down to something flat and I'll show you how I did that. Um, cause like, again, they all cut out the center pieces, but I wanted to show you what they look like with the center pieces, um, or with them die cut. So I decided to make this cute little wand, which I love how it came out. So you can see that I had to put some paper here and then I just attached the cute little hearts around the edges, which is so super fun. I did put another piece of paper on top of the, the largest circle. I did the next size down in the nesting circles and put it on top. Then I created a cute little rosette and then this I created with my Cricut and I just added a cute little bow on there. This is one of the cute little um, chipboard pieces from that same collection. 
I put it on a black and white um, straw and I always take one straw and shove another one in there. I might cover up the end of that, but it doesn't matter. It's going to go in a jar anyways. Um, but and then this is a faux leather bow. Um, I buy most of my faux leather. Um, I buy on a spool from Hobby Lobby. So I put this cute little um, black checker because it kind of matches this. And then I put, of course, this cute little piece in the center that I use my Cricut. And I did put uh, this up on top of some phone tape on top of the rosette. But I love how that came out. Isn't that the cutest little skull? Like who likes skulls, but you do when they're cute and have a bow, right? <laughs> so that was fun to make. I hardly ever make um, make these anymore, so I thought that would be fun to do. And I love this little eek. That's so cute. So that's what I did with that. And then moving on. Now this one definitely is not categorized as Halloween. Um, it's a, a background dye and it cut, there's some paper in there. That's why you can't see through all of them, but you can kind of see my fingernail through this one. It cuts out all these stars and I'm like, Hey, that would work just fine for something Halloween. So, and it, um, it cuts out really well, um, like butter. Um, all of the, um, little stars came off of the paper. Some got stuck in the dye, but it, it cut really well through the paper, which I love. Sometimes when you get these little tiny things, sometimes they're hard to get out, but not on this dye. This was great. And this is what I made. I decided to make this cute little envelope. I just love it. This Now, this one is definitely some Doodlebug uh, Halloween paper. And all I have to do is put a little Velcro dot on there. But I made a cute little, like, policy envelope. And then here's where you see that cute little die. Isn't that adorable? And then I just backed it with some back paper so that you could see um, the stars really well. This little Frankenstein guy I made with my Cricut. And I did put him up on some foam tape. I added a cute little bat. Um, and then I put this uh, rest in peace sticker, which I think this is one of the doodle bugs as well. Um, no, because doodle bug doesn't have chipboard. Um, it come, it might be from that same collection. I'm not sure, but I thought it was cute. Uh, in back of the cute little Frankenstein, this little piece definitely came from the doodle bug collection. And then, <clears throat> Um, this little moon, I found this in my Cricut as well, um, and it comes, it's meant to have the little bats on it, but I thought that was super fun, and then I just added this on there, um, uh, this cute, I love these, um, I can't remember who was showing these, lots of people bought them a couple years ago, and so I got on that bandwagon and purchased some from, um, AliExpress, and it has just like little black candies and little candy corns in there, and I just hung that as decoration on that and I love how cute that turned out I love the moon it's so cute so that's what I did with the little cute star and last but not least I could when I when I got my package I'm going I have this die why would I have picked this again but I think it was because they gave a free gift based on how much money you spent so I just incorporated it in since they sent it why not and then I got this cute die that says trick or treat. It's rather large. And I'll show you what I made with that. And I kind of combined both of them together. So this is what I made with that little cute little star deal. So I just cut it out using some cute um, paper on there. Um, and then in between, I only used I think it comes with five layers. I only use the three largest ones and I the the black paper has little skeletons on it and then this is plain pink cardstock and then I did the skeletons again. And then just like this one that I showed you, I made some smaller ones to put on top of here. So that's what I made with my little um uh, that little star or uh, it looks like a star. Um I have put it on top of here. And everything's up on foam tape, so it's super chunky and dimensional. And then what I did was I went ahead and I, I found this cute mug in my Cricut, and I just made it really large. I'm probably going to put it on a bag or something larger um, for sending to, for a Happy Mail. So that's where you see the second one of these. And then here's that trick-or-treat, which I put this in 
gold glitter cardstock. And then it's like a cup of um, spooky cocoa. How about that? <laughs> so I thought that was super duper cute. I love that. And um, and I finally, I just made another one of these. It's like, once you start doing it on your Cricut, you might as well do a couple at a time so you have some extra for another project. So that wasn't one of my dies, but I'm just showing it to you because I just made an extra one. So those are all my super fun Halloween projects. I had a blast putting it together. Now it's time to move on to some, maybe some fall projects or some holiday projects. I'm doing a little bit of everything, but one thing I know is I'm done with Halloween. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at my projects. Don't forget to follow me on SassyBlingyMe31 on Instagram if you're not already following me. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll talk to you guys all very soon. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.